the case of a high myopic patient who had artiflex phagic IOL implanted in both eyes 10 years ago and now coming for decreased visual acuity and double vision in one eye after a blunt ocular trauma happened three weeks before her visit to us. At the slit lamp, secondary to the trauma, the artiflex temporal haptic lost contact with the iris and fell down in the anterior chamber, almost in contact with cornea in the inferotemporal quadrant, where we could notice corneal edema. The specular micros microscopy showed relatively low endothelial cell count with affected morphology. We needed to reposition as soon as possible the descended phakic IOM. This is the beginning of the surgery, and we can notice the inferior displaced artiflex lens with corneal edema and haze in the inferotemporal quadrant. We perform a paracentesis, one-step incision, through which we inject viscout in the anterior chamber and on the artiflex decentered lens with gentle movements, slow motion injection. And then we inject a bit of provisc, a, short, a sort of a soft shell technique in order to create more space to work in. Then we grasp the dislocated haptic with a hook, bringing the IOL in the correct position, centered on the pupil. With a special dedicated forceps through the 2.6 millimeter limbal incision, we grasp the haptic and with a dedicated bent needle, recommended by the Artiflex manufacturer, we insert a bit of iris stroma through the haptic close, paying attention to avoid the already atrophic stroma in that area and to catch in the claw neither too much nor too less of the iris stroma. At the end, by manual irrigation aspiration of the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber and under the IOL, hydration of the incisions, and that was all the surgery.